Thanks for checking out GuardiansoftheGreenGray.com. Today, we present Lance Landrum. He was sent to us by a civilian parachute club that is focused on veterans only. They asked him multiple times to produce a DD-214, and he kept putting them off and off, and they realized it was probably a bridge too far, and they wanted to see if he actually had served or not. But he claimed many things. He wore a combat infantry badge. He claimed to have been blown up, a shot in the shoulder. His buddy, brain matter splattered on him where he has PTSD. We had a number of phone calls with him and somehow lost the second one where he actually comes clean and admits to everything. And the fact that he never even served one minute in the military he agreed to send back all his fake swag. We don't look for that anytime soon. It seems like when he's talking, he's lying. He said his criminal record was not him. You could easily ask Hillsborough County Sheriff's for his criminal record. It's extensive. And the only thing he admitted to was the DUI with bodily harm. So we reached back out to Hillsborough county and they said beyond doubt what they sent us was him unless there's another guy with the exact same name including middle initial born on the same day with the same social security number so that was yet another lie but here's the first phone call and then we segue into uh, pictures and screenshots of his claims talking about his dd214 burning in a fire and then his fake letter threatening us from a officer in the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. After the video, make sure you go to and check out our work at guardiansofthegreenbray.com. We'll have a link in the description section below. Out here. I have a little bit of time. I'm working. How you doing, sir? Okay, fine. Uh, first off, uh, our company requires that we record. If Do you have a problem with us recording our conversation? Why are you calling? I'm calling to reference uh, your inability to uh, provide a DD-214 for your records. I'm with your request? At the Guardians of the Green Beret's request. Lance. Yeah, you can speak to my attorney. Well, that ain't gonna. I, that's fine, but you you understand you're you're posing as someone you're not. You know what I'm saying? You can say everything you want about talking to an attorney, but the bottom line is is you, you don't even show up as a as even being in the military. You understand? And guardians are not. What's making you think that? Because we ran your records, Lance, with your social security number and everything, and you do not show up as even serving in the military. <laughs> All right. We'll see how this is going to work out. So, like we said earlier, we were asked to get records on Lance Landrum when he kept saying he was unable to get them and had tried. Here's the initial contact where Lance is claiming to have been a ranger and got out in 2004 when he was trying to join the civilian uh, jump club that is veteran focused. He says he is worried about his DD-214 not getting back in time. The guy says he'll need to prove he's a veteran and asked him if there's anybody he served with that could step up and of course Lance can't find anybody because he didn't serve and his DD-214 was never sent for because one doesn't exist. Lance has a ranger tattoo, a huge ranger tattoo that he shows a picture of hoping that's proof enough and explains that his house caught on fire. But you would think a guy would know that shoots, short for parachute, shoots 
is C-H-U-T-E-S instead of S-H-O-O-T-S. That should have been not only a red flag, but a stop sign. But he actually finds somebody to step up and vet him, although it's nowhere near a vetting because all he did was regurgitate another lie that Lance told him. He sends a legit guy, sends a picture from a Toby Keith video and said, this is Lance in the video from back in the day. Well, the only reason he says that's because Lance told him that. We're surprised he was allowed to live this lie for as long as he did. We're pretty sure it started prior to 2015. We asked him on the phone and he said it was only a couple of years. However, we mentioned a picture of him and his wife in 2015 and he does agree that it started long before that. But you see this picture right here of the Special Forces shoulder sleeve insignia. How on earth could anybody let that pass? 1,000% of the time, it's worn with the airborne tab. They're never separated. It's one in the same shoulder sleeve insignia. And that's about, the only bigger red flag than that would be if it was worn upside down, which many a fraud does. But here you see the Ranger tab on top of the Special Forces tab. That's the biggest red flag on earth. And he was actually called out by a legit Green Beret and ended up taking it off and replacing it with a fifth group flash. You know what's the funniest thing about this? And this is probably one of the only truths that Lance Landrum said during our second phone call when he admitted everything, he said he was so ignorant to the fact that he thought Special Forces was Rangers. He did not know Special Forces was Green Beret. And uh, he chuckled at himself. But he went out of his way to wear Special Forces uh, t-shirts and crests. But so after the phone call, we sent him a text message. Can we get that email that you never served and we'll stop the lie? He readily agreed, yes, I will send it. Okay, yes, I will send it. He did not say, hey, wait a minute, I served, I just wasn't a Green Beret. He agreed that he never served and he will get that email to us. Well, the email that came was pretty cheesy he didn't admit that he never served. I think he was trying to spin the lie to his wife because she told somebody that he never claimed to be a Green Bray, but he did serve honorably. Well, that's not true. So after this pretty cheesy uh, email, we asked him for another one, yet he texts us this from Officer Alono with a... Uh, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office case number 22-650 about stopping the harassment and it just goes on and on but it also says that he specifically requested and stated that we not record his phone conversation that's an absolute lie you heard him questioning who we were but never once did he say no don't record you would think somebody that was airborne would actually know it's one word and not two. So we reached out to Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and we're trying to get a hold of Officer Alono to explain we weren't harassing. It's called dialogue. Whether he enjoyed the dialogue or not is up for debate. But until he says quit texting, quit calling, and as long as he returns the texts and answers and talks, it's called dialogue. He had every opportunity to block us and tell us to stop. He didn't. The funny thing is Hillsborough sheriffs got back with us. Hillsborough County sheriffs got back and said not only is there not a case 22-650, that's in the wrong format, and there's no officer alono in their department. If there was, he would be called 
Deputy Alono. We asked them to verify whether they had the correct individual when it comes to his criminal record because he admitted to his DUI with bodily harm but said all the other criminal charges that show in his history are not him. They said that if there's a, another guy named Lance Landrum with the middle initial A that was born on the exact date he was and has the same social security number as him, there might be a second guy. If not, this is him. Lance went out of his way to wear the special forces crest on, on his lapel. He also wore a special forces belt buckle. He wears the ranger tab. It's funny that he thought the rangers and special forces were the same. So there's an absolute plethora of pictures of him wearing a ball cap with a ranger crest on it. So here he is with a cowboy hat with the special forces crest. Here he is, 101st. He was never in any unit. Here you see a 82nd Airborne patch. Here is the uh, Special Forces shoulder sleeve insignia. This is pretty sad right here. He's actually talking down about one of his children, how they wear a tan beret, but they're not a ranger. He didn't even serve, okay? And he talks about rolling his colonel's 9-11 that's just absolutely comical because uh he never served a day in the military and it's sad that he would show disrespect for one of his children that is indeed serving honorably so here you see him wearing lieutenant rank and a socom patch here's a wedding picture of him with the special forces crest on his hat sad but the fact that somebody didn't call him out years and years ago when he wore the Ranger tab above the Special Forces crest is hard to believe. So now check out uh, the entire article at GuardiansOfTheGreenBeret.com where you could see his records or the uh, lack of records and his other pictures with all his fake swag out here.